Hi guys and welcome back. And today I thought we might do something a little bit different as a special effort to address some of the possible boredom and frustrations of lockdown. Now, there's no doubt that uh, COVID-19 has had a dramatic effect on all of the world and I know lots of people doing it really tough. Now we can only hope that uh, if we stick with social isolation and all the other measures that eventually the boffins will come up with a vaccine and we can get back to normal and then there'll be obviously the challenges of the economy and we could dwell on that but I don't think that's productive so it struck me this morning when I was watching the news and they were talking about the most searched things on Google and there was lots of baking stuff and there was lots of exercise stuff and music and books but they crossed to a guy who I think runs a hobby shop here in Australia I think in New South Wales and uh, he was saying that their online orders had increased by 150% so far, which makes me think there's a lot of people who are turning their hands to building kits. And I know, based on my own stats for the channel views, that over the last few weeks, the number of views for my channel have gone up dramatically. And again, that makes me suspect that there's lots of people uh, with time on their hands and looking to fill it. So I thought if there's a large number of perhaps beginners out there or people who are coming back to the hobby after a, a long time away, it might look a bit daunting if you're looking at established modelers and the kit that they've got and equipment and uh, paints and tools and, and all that sort of stuff. And, and you might think, well, I can't do that. So what I propose to do here is to do a build along series and uh, basically just buy a basic starter kit. It'll get us going and that'll have a kit and some paint and a paintbrush. I'll add a few other things to that list that I think are, are probably critical and then we'll go through it step by step. I'll build it. I won't use anything other than what's um, shown in this video as, uh, as the equipment that I'm recommending and do it stage by stage and really go into the instructions and explain some of the techniques and that so that uh, if you're thinking about buying a kit, you might have a roadmap to follow. So I've arbitrarily picked uh, Spitfire, and we'll do that in one 70 second scale. And the main reason, well, there's two reasons why I picked a Spitfire. One is because I personally love it. I think they're the most beautiful aircraft that have ever been built. I just love the lines of them, and I guess there's the, the romantic um, connection with the Battle of Britain and the, and the role that they played. And the second reason is everyone recognizes a Spitfire. I think it would be harder for brand new people to the hobby perhaps looking at different variants of some of the lesser known planes. That's just a guess. I'm not saying that's necessarily the case. But I thought Spitfire, pretty basic, straightforward, looks nice. And uh, also, our friends at Airfix do a really great starter set. So here's the plan. It's Saturday the 2nd of May, as I'm uh, recording this audio now. And I literally just bought some stuff from eBay to do this build, and I'll run through that in a, in a little while. And the mail is saying, the estimated delivery is saying it's about the 20th of May. Our mail's been slow in Australia because of the increase in people shopping online and deliveries. So I'd be pessimistic and say this might not start until the end of May, but I wanted to get this up as quick as possible. So if you're actually interested in doing the same kit, you'd have time to um, order it and get it delivered. And because I thought people might want to do that, I've deliberately tried to keep the cost as low as possible. So the starter kit and some of the additional tools that I've added, I think adds up to about 70 bucks Australian. So that's probably about 35 pounds in total and maybe 30 odd dollars US that's just rough. I haven't I haven't checked anything. So try to keep it affordable. And the other thing is with the additional tools I've um, added into the shopping list, you'll have those for future kits. So we'll go through that in a, in a little while. But the kit I'm looking at is the Airfix Supermarine Spitfire Mark One, uh, the starter kit. So that comes with four paints and a paintbrush. Not sure what the quality of the paintbrush is, but the paints are acrylic. That's good. That means we can use some water to thin them down a little bit, and that will help. I'm not going to use anything that I'm not talking about here, so I won't be using an airbrush to paint it. I'll just be using brushes as well. And the other part of it will be to really go through the instructions step by step and use that as an opportunity to point out some techniques and methods of using the different tools and the like. So it should give you a nice, clear guide to, to literally build along.
So the first thing we've got is, of course, the uh, Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1A, and that is the Airfix Starter Set. And as I said before, that comes with glue, four paints, and a paintbrush, and it was 38 bucks Australian. So again, probably half that for pounds and even less for US dollars. Now I thought if you were starting from scratch and had nothing, there is some other stuff that you would probably need if you wanted to get a, a reasonable job done and not too stressed. So I've added a set of modeling sprue cutters, side cutters, because uh, I think they're absolutely essential in getting the bits off the sprue. And that was $10.50 Australian. I've also added some sharp hobby knives. Now, again, I said I was going for low cost. I want this to be affordable if people actually want to go along with it. So this is a cheap 13 piece hobby knife craft cutting blade kit, which contains one light duty knife, one medium duty knife, one heavy duty knife, 10 assorted blades and a storage case. So for $6.50, it won't be brilliant, but it's cheap and look, they'll get the job done, I'm sure. I also added a small metal file. I got the half round one. I've been using a half round file and the one I've been using I've had since I was about 14. So it's 43 years old uh, and has never let me down, but I'd thought I'd get a new one anyway and the other thing was I, I just wanted to buy all the stuff even though I've got some of this stuff I just wanted to buy it so you could see it all come out of the box as that's the, the minimum that I'm sort of recommending. These are critical for uh, cleaning up your pieces once you've got them off the sprue. Also added in some soft sanding sticks so this is just a set of four for $11 and again I think for me they're really important in making sure you've got clean edges and everything's nice and smooth. Uh, where you've got joints and you might have to do a little bit of filling etc so another critical addition now you could replace this with probably some soft nail files from the chemist most places i think chemists are still open uh, and maybe just get one for a couple of bucks but i'm lazy and uh, they're all going to get delivered at the same time so i just bought them online i've also added a small bottle of tamiya cement i just look at that tube cement with the airfix starter kit with a degree of nervousness and it throws me back 40 years to when I used to build model kits that were smothered in glue that would string and go over. Now this glue might be way better than it was, I'm, I'm sure it is, but I thought for 14 bucks, Tamiya Cement, you can't go wrong. It's got an application brush, probably good if you're helping someone who's less experienced or a, a, a grandson or granddaughter or son or daughter or a little brother or a little sister or whoever it might be. Probably a little bit easier to control than those old uh, tube glues. And last and arguably possibly least because again i'm not sure what the quality of the brush is that comes with the airfix kit i thought i would get some additional brushes so for seven dollars a pack of 15 i'm sure they're not great quality but um they might serve the purpose and i notice there's some flatter brushes in there uh, which might help with coverage for painting the plane so seven bucks i didn't think that was uh, uh over spend and uh, might make things easier so that is basically all the stuff that I'm recommending and hopefully that turns up quickly in the post. So there are a couple of rules involved in this and the first one is it's meant to be fun. So it's not a competition and we're not trying to outdo each other. If you're already an experienced modeler then this series will probably have very little interest for you. Happy for everyone to come and make comments if they're supportive and encouraging. Uh, if people are asking questions and other people in the community have got knowledge that they can share and do that in a you know supportive way, then that's fantastic. But beyond that, it's just meant to be fun. The second rule is that if at your home you've decided to follow along and do this and perhaps you're helping a younger member of the family be that a son, a daughter, grandson, granddaughter, little brother, little sister, cousin, whatever, then the second rule is whatever they do is good enough. We want to be encouraging people to occupy their time and keep their minds relaxed and not worrying about things and keep their hands active and maybe get them off the television monitors for a couple of hours uh, for a change. So it's everyone's encouraging everybody. Now, dads, and I say this with respect because I'm a dad, Dad, if you don't think you can sit there and let your kid build it without taking over, then buy two kits. Buy one for you to build, and then buy one for your kid to build. But this should be a no-tears, fun experience for the family to do together. And, you know, 
while away some time and you know talk smack about other things so what's the timeline i put my order in today they reckon the longest duration is going to be the 20th of may but our post is a bit slow at the minute so i'm going to guess it's going to be more towards the end of may so i'm looking to get the first video up at the start of june and what i'm thinking is there'll be just the unboxing of all the bits and pieces and explaining in a bit more detail what they're all for then we'll start the next video will be the build and there might be two parts to that just depends on how much detail i end up going into then there'll be a paint and decals one and then the final reveal so i think there's maybe four videos along the way maybe five we'll just see how it goes then the other thing i'm really keen for is if people are actually going to do this I'll put my email address up here and I'll put it in the description down below that uh, as you're building along and if you're building along especially if you're helping a younger person take some pics and send them to me and I'll start putting them into the subsequent videos as they unfold because I think it'd be really good fun to see some of the progress that's being made and what other people are doing with their kits all right guys so that's about it uh, hopefully there's a bit of interest uh, at the end of the day it's a uh, self nomination a few people want to do it that's great uh, if no one does it that's great too i'll end up with a nice little spitfire at the end of it and i love spitfires so it won't be a lost cause and it keeps me out of mischief if it keeps no one else out of mischief so thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you're not already i'd say subscribe if you want to follow along with the build and i will catch you in the next one cheers